Isaiah is always pointing us toward Christ. And I think for some of yours, this might be an old, old metaphor and image, but you think about a negative from an old photograph where all the colors are reversed, right? Okay. So Isaiah is pointing us through Christ two ways. Sometimes by showing, here's what Christ will come and do. Sometimes by showing that, that negative image, that flip image, here's the absence and injustice in the world that oh, points okay. toward the need for Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. Christ is gonna come in judgment. That's one of his messages. And he shows us, you want that because there's no judgment now. Nobody's driving here, right? They're all going their own way. So sometimes we say, oh, let me read past the, the judgment. Where's the part where it says, yeah, my sins will be a scarlet, but they'll will be washed white as snow, right? right? But I really think you get to know Jesus through both sides of that, of that poetic strategy Isaiah has. If we jump ahead just real quick to verses 16 and 17, it talks about how the anointed one, Christ, will come. It, because there was no one, one else, right? And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him. His righteousness, it sustained him. And so, again, the first couplet, there's nobody else. There's no intercessor. And so Christ is going to come in and bring salvation, and his righteousness is going to sustain them.